Hi guys, and welcome back to Low Carb Crazy. I'm Diane, your host, and today we'll be talking about natural appetite suppressors. Stay tuned. My appetite is something that I struggle with a lot. And the reason why I even looked at this topic is because of that fact. <laughs> I have a huge appetite and sometimes I'm a little confused as to why I have such a big appetite. And I want to make sure that I'm done with that. You know what I'm saying? I did some research on medical news today and com and they had some really helpful information now i had to tweak some of the information that i took i just was choosy and picked out what i wanted to that would benefit me on the low carb lifestyle because some of the things they said were definitely not low carb and i wouldn't suggest doing them if you're trying to go low carb or keto i have a shadow behind me it's a ghost Woo! no it's just my shadow yeah it's still there i don't know how to fix this does anybody know how to fix this? Help me, help me. It's still there. So number one is you want to add more fats and proteins into your diet. Why? Because they fill you up more and they're harder to break down in the stomach and it takes a longer time for your stomach to digest them. So uh, the longer it takes for your stomach to digest food, the less hungry you'll feel. Um, in my case, I eat nothing but fats and proteins and I still digest very quickly. So that's why I researched this is because I really want to try some of these things that I haven't tried before, but fats and proteins are already in my diet. So that was number one. If you are eating fats and proteins, maybe you should think about putting some healthy fats in your diet and some lean protein. Number two, number two, drinking water. I know it's so freaking simple, but do we drink enough water? Uh, a lot of people don't drink enough water. I say water. I'm from Jersey. You know what I'm saying? It's water. Some people say water. Water. <laughs> I don't know. We say water. Um, so anyway. Agua. <laughs> H2O. You get the point. You, you, you understand. Our, before we drink, before we do anything, we want to drink water. Excuse I got it. I got it. I got the thing. No, I don't. I was outside earlier and I have allergies to trees. Yeah, that's it. They also say that instead of drinking water before a meal, you can actually have a, like a bowl of just broth. Some good broth. Uh, chicken broth, beef broth. Make sure it's light and not too heavy just something warm. But yeah, so as long as you have something to drink before you eat, the idea is that you get some water in your stomach to start off with. And when you put the food in there, it will kind of fluff it up. Everything gets kind of fluffed up. So it takes your stomach a little bit longer to digest. It's all about digestion, it seems. It seems the faster that you digest food, the more hungry you'll be. And it can also be hormones or something like that as well. But um, it seems like in the stomach anyway, if you're hungry, you're literally hungry and growling all the time, that means that your digestive system is working really fast and whatever food you're eating is going right through you and it's making you hungry again. Number three, make sure you have enough fiber. Fiber is very important in your diet. That is also a big digestive thing. Fibers are harder to break down so you feel fuller longer. So what on the keto diet has fiber? Well, the green vegetables that you eat, if you eat broccoli or cauliflower or, you know, Brussels sprouts, those things are very fibrous and avocados, for instance, are very fibrous. So when you eat these things on your low carb diet or ketogenic diet, um, you will definitely feel fuller longer as long as you have a good amount of them on your plate that mixed with the protein, you're not gonna be very hungry at all if you eat that well. Tip number four, ginger. Ginger is has been shown to reduce appetite and increase fullness. Just increase fullness. 
it's what it does. Ginger has been known to suppress the appetite. It's a great, great tool. And ginger tastes good too. Did you ever cook with ginger like a stir fry? So next time you make that stir fry with your onions and your peppers and your chicken and you got all this other stuff in there, garlic, put a little bit of ginger in there too. Mm-hmm. And that low sodium soy sauce. Mm-hmm. And you got something good going on right there. Mm-hmm. And it's healthier for you and will suppress your appetite later. Tip number five. Eat more filling foods like vegetables they call them low calorie foods okay eat more low calorie foods fruits and vegetables the fruits that were allowed on the ketogenic lifestyle you know what they are you know berries but we can't eat too many of them so maybe you can make a nice salad with a couple of berries in it and that might make you feel fuller longer along with your proteins and your healthy fats you'll be so full for that meal you won't be hungry for hours later which is really good number six believe it or not it's not something you ingest it's not something you take there's no pill there's not even a food for it but i could tell you what it is reduce your stress levels yeah like take a nice hot steamy bath and you know drink some sparkling water in a nice wine glass with a strawberry popped in there Make you feel special. Try to meditate, pray if you're religious. Whatever, whatever uh, suits you that can relax you other than stuffing your face and feeding your emotions. No more feeding your emotions, Diana. <laughs> yes, I am a sucker for feeding my emotions. That's yeah, 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 yeah. See, I look at these things, not for you, but for me. And I share it with you because I just like to share with you. So. Number seven, apple cider vinegar. Hello, apple cider vinegar. Wait a minute, that takes me back. I did a video on apple cider vinegar and the health benefits of that. If you wanna check that out, go to my channel and scroll down, you'll find it. Apple cider vinegar, the health benefits of apple cider vinegar. It's there somewhere. It has been known to reduce your appetite if you just take a little bit of it each day or at each um, meal, like lunch and dinner, for, for instance. Adding apple cider vinegar to your diet will help you lose weight. It has some sort of appetite suppressor in there naturally, and you will be fuller longer. Number eight, cayenne pepper, baby. <sighs> Oh, that's caliente, 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 hot, hot, hot. <gasps> yeah. Okay, too much, too much. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was too much. Cayenne pepper has been shown to actually raise your metabolism a little bit, helps you burn calories, and it suppresses your appetite. That's why a lot of people put cayenne pepper on their food, or sometimes they make that concoction of cayenne pepper with the lemon and the honey, and then they sh chug it down. God bless them. I can never do that. But anyway, um, some people do that, and it helps them, and they swear by it. So kudos to you if you could do that. I cannot do that. My husband is a huge fan of cayenne pepper. Actually, he has about 50 jugs of them, and he just bought one this big of cayenne pepper. He literally puts it in and on every meal he puts it in his food on his food like tonight i just made him eggs and and some vegetables and he put it over everything why do i bother cooking recipes he just kills it with cayenne pepper maybe that's why he lost 70 pounds see what i'm saying Stuff. now i just have one tip for you guys remember when you're restricting your food intake it only causes you to binge or overeat later so my suggestion that i'm adding on to this is also be sure to eat proper amounts of food and if you don't know what that is maybe i can help you okay it goes by your weight and your height and all that stuff for me i'll give you an example i'm a five foot ten woman okay and my intake should be 
at each meal between four to six ounces of protein three times a day at each meal. And then a, a cup, at least a cup of vegetables with that. So it could be any vegetable uh, that's not starchy, you know, and I like zucchini, I like green beans, I like, I love Brussels sprouts and cabbage, and I like salad, things like that. So um, asparagus, spinach, let me go on, let me go on here. So basically what you wanna do is take four to six grams of protein. I have an actual scale. You weigh your plate first, you put the meat on it, and make sure it's within that range, four to six grams of protein. I like to make sure it's exactly six, so that way I know I'm getting enough protein, and then I give myself at least one full cup of vegetables, if not a lot more. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit more restrictive with my fats than my husband is, so I only allow myself to have one tablespoon or two tablespoons the most of real grass-fed butter and some Himal Himalayan pink sea salt or something like that on there with some pepper, regular pepper, but maybe I should try cayenne. Oh, I'm so scared. Another little add-on is that a lot of the times we think we're hungry, but in actuality, our body is thirsty. Like right now, I could really use some water. Damn it, it's way over there. So when you feel that like little like, oh, I think I want something to eat, go and get yourself some water or some herbal tea and drink that first. See how you feel after drinking the whole drink. Drink the drink, give it at least five minutes, five to 10 minutes to let your stomach realize what it just had in it. And then if you still feel hungry or even think about food, then maybe it's time to have a little small protein snack, about three grams of protein. A little piece of turkey, some tuna, you know what I'm saying, an egg, a boiled egg or something. Yeah, these. this is sometimes you get hungry and hey, you gotta eat. Eat some protein, eat some fats and suppress your appetite naturally. Don't try those things on the market. They're really no good for you. And all I could say is God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you learned something. And I'm glad I shared this knowledge with you that I found. It's not my knowledge. It's medical news today knowledge. So thanks for joining me. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And whatever you do, do it well. Bye. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching my mommy. She's the cutest mommy in the whole world. Come back soon. We love you. Thank you. Tweet, 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 tweet.